We welcome in C. Edmund Wright. Hello, how are you? Great, Steve. How are you doing? Good. Good to talk to you again. Okay, so you say that these scandals, the IRS, Benghazi, the uh, the Justice Department versus the media, uh, that they're scandalous, but they're we shouldn't be calling them scandals, right? Well, to me, Steve, they're just liberalism in action. This is, this is what you get when you have a big liberal government and it, it's carrying out its plans, uh, especially the IRS scandal. I mean, this is what you get. So, yes, scandalous, but not a scandal. Okay, so so explain a little bit more. So uh, you're saying that we as conservatives shouldn't be uh, calling them scandals and should be saying that, you know, this is what you get when you have this kind of administration and this is what we should expect. Um, so although, you know, it's it's over the top, it, it shouldn't be considered so for, for this kind of administration. Or are you saying that the public shouldn't think of them as scandals either? Well, I think the public is thinking of them as scandals. I think the opportunity is there for conservatives to say, look, they are scandals, but really it's just liberalism uh, being applied. Liberals doing what liberals do. They use big government and nothing is, is the hammer of the big government like the IRS. In fact, Obama said uh, they bring a knife, we bring a gun. Well, the IRS is the government gun. So this kind of thing is perfectly predictable. I mean, this was the natural outcome. Uh, the Obama government could end up no other way. Yeah, no, okay, well, uh, fair, fair enough. Uh, so where do we go? How do we, how do we handle these, and how do we deal with them? How do you think that these uh, uh, scandalous um, occurrences by uh, a, a liberal administration, uh, uh, like uh, Barack Obama's administration, I mean, you know, Jay Carney, every day he's there defending each and every one of these scandalous incidents, um, and uh, most notably the, the Justice Department labeling of James Rosen of Fox News as a co-conspirator, uh, defending it in the name of... We we have to stop leaks. I mean, I, well, then go after the leaker. I mean, it's never been done before. So, uh, you know, where is it, all this going to wind up? Well, I think a couple of things are at play, Steve. Uh, first, you, you have the media scandals. You had the Associated Press wiretapping. Uh, and then you have uh, the James Rosen issue, which puts a, a particular face and a personality to it. And I think that's going to make the media angle you know, even more personal, even more real to people. And I think the media will be, you know, uh, focused on that. In the meantime, these hearings on the IRS, they just keep coming out. It's just a drip, drip, drip. So I, I think the focus there shouldn't necessarily be on Obama because in, at some point he will be gone. But these huge bureaucracies are still the problem. And, and nothing, you know, shows the difference between our vision of America and, and what Obama, Reed Pelosi's vision of America is, like a huge uh, bureaucracy hiding behind the invisible cubicle and yet ruining people's lives at the same time. I mean, this is why we believe what we believe. Right. And, and you know, I, I had a debate with a liberal on their show yesterday. And, um, you know, he said he, he kind of went back and, of course, blamed it on the, uh, the press, uh, um, the, the press and the IRS uh, scandals, if you will, on, on uh, B George Bush, because we gave up our rights, he said, uh, for the Patriot Act. And I pointed out to him that in the case of the Justice Department, um, Alberto Gonzalez and every other attorney general that, uh, that was uh, in power during uh, George Bush's term, none of them ever did this. Uh, so, you know, it, 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 you, can't, you can't blame Bush, or if you want to blame the Patriot Act, um, it's, it's only this administration now that seems to be abusing it and abusing it regularly. Well, right. The Patriot Act, of course, has nothing to do with uh, Benghazi, and it has nothing to do with, uh, with the IRS scandal. It's a stretch to kind of tie that into the, uh, to the of course, AP yeah. game. Rosen scandal. But, right, but even if you did, again, it wasn't abused uh, uh, under Bush. It's just being abused. So if you wanted to lay blame there, which I'm not, but on his premise, it's only this administration that's abused it. It's, it's amazing that uh, how Bush derangement syndrome <laughs> obsessed with George Bush, the left still is. I, I get involved in some of these little fun Twitter wars, and I, you know, I tell you, the Steve, the lofos go right to the Bush angle on every issue. I'm like. Has anyone told them that your guy's been president for five years? Yeah. And that, uh, by the way, the Tea Party, we were never Bush fans anyway. So. Yeah, well, I hear you. All right, listen, uh, C. Edmund Wright, uh, get his book if you don't have it. And it's uh, WTF, How Karl Rove and the Establishment Lost Again. And read him at Breitbart, an American thinker. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Steve, thank you. All right, take care.